Hello, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Jen Clayton Beauty. We do everything beauty and makeup and that includes testing out new releases from Dollar Tree. I picked up everything in the new LA Colors Made For You collection and see if they are good quality or if they're kind of crummy dollar store quality. Typically LA Colors is pretty decent. Some things are wins, some things are fails. So we're gonna see about the new Made For You collection. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. I will see if I can find these products elsewhere of the Dollar Tree and link them down below for you as well as my favorite beauty subscription boxes, all of the other makeup that I'll be wearing today if you want to shop my look, discounts to my favorite indie brands, and come follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. So let's test out the Made For You collection from LA Colors. So the first thing we're testing out is the brand new cream gel bronzer. How exciting is that, that they have cream products? And I picked mine up in the shade Sunflower. I will go ahead and insert close-ups and swatches here for you. I'm really excited to try this out. It swatched a lot better and was much more opaque than I expected. So I'm tapping this onto the skin, basically where the sun hits. And this is looking really nice. I'm curious how it's going to blend out. So I'm going to start blending that out with my beauty sponge. Wow, we're getting quite a bit of opacity and color payoff. I'm impressed. So here's the cream bronzer blended out. I'm impressed. This blended out really nice. Still have the warmth, still have the color, even blending it out with a damp beauty sponge. Wow, I can't wait to see what this looks like layered under powder product. And then I picked up the cream gel blush in the shade Orchid, which is a nudie pink shade. This also swatched really, really nice. It even has a little bit of a coral undertone to it, so perfect for summer. So tapping that onto my skin, look at that. That is very opaque. I am impressed. I'm going to just blend this out a bit with my brush and then I'll go in with my beauty blender and do a little more blending. I'm hoping not to blend it away. So using the clean side of my beauty sponge, just kind of blending that out. Wow, this is incredible. Very, very pigmented, blended in beautifully, not sitting on the skin. I'm quite impressed. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with powder, do my brows, and we'll test out the eyeshadow palette. So I went ahead and set my face with powder, did my brows, setting spray. You can still see the bronzer. You can still see the cream blush. I am impressed. I'm very, very impressed. I am going to, as always, apply my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly as my eyeshadow primer, and then we'll dig in to the palette. So I picked up the little four pan palette called Cherry Tart. We've got two mattes, two shimmers, this swatched beautifully. I was thoroughly impressed with the swatches. They look really good, very pigmented. The shimmers are very soft and buttery and beautiful. I cannot wait to try this out. So first I'm going to pick up the kind of peachy leaning matte in the palette and I'm going to put that on the inner portion of my eye and I'm going to bring that up into my crease, a little bit above my crease, about a third of the way up. I'm going to leave the middle open. So with that deeper brown, I'm just popping that on the outer portion of my eye. Again, leaving the center open. Look at how pigmented that is. It's as pigmented on the eyes as it was with a swatch. And I always say swatches don't tell the whole story. So this is nice to see it actually translate on the eyes. As always, I'm going to tap a little bit of that NYX glitter glue on my lid so we can test out the shimmers. So with the brown shimmer in the palette, the deeper one, I'm going to pop that on the outer corner closest to the dark brown outer corner matte and bring that up into the crease a little bit. Again, I am kind of creating that faux halo eye. Look at how beautiful this light shimmer is. That is insane and I am picking that up on a brush so we can test out brush application. That is so bright and pigmented. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I'm going to bring that over to meet that deep brown shimmer. Then I'm going to pick up the deep brown shimmer and buff that on the lower lash line. And this light shimmer is so beautiful. We can actually use that as our inner corner highlight. So here's the eye look with the Made For You palette. I also picked up their liquid liner. Now you know that I am 100% a liquid liner girl, so I was excited to see this. New reformulated packaging, new formula, 
so excited to try this out. This also swatched really nice, and I like that the applicator is not really a brush tip. It's more of a firm felt tip liner. It's so easy to draw in my wing because the tip of this, the applicator is firm, but it still picks up a lot of product. This is very pretty, very, very black, very opaque. So this went on beautifully. Like I said, I love how stiff the applicator is. It's opaque, it's black, it doesn't skip, it doesn't jump. This went on really nicely. This is much better than the old liquid liner formula. I will say that their little pen, I love their pen, their eye marker, I think it's called, but all of the other liquid liners haven't been very good. This one's really good. So I have mascara and a liner on. Speaking of liner, I did pick up the LA Colors Auto Eyeliner in Limoncello. This is their neon. I mean, it matches my nails. I had to get these. These are fantastic in the waterline, and I've wanted a neon yellow to go with kind of those more neon yellow looks. I didn't use this today. It just doesn't really go with my eye look, but I wanted to share with you that they do have some really fun, bright colors out for summer. So last but not least, we've got the lippy. This is the Jelly Gloss in the shade Candyland. Now this is supposed to be a non-sticky gloss with a slight wash of color. It does have kind of the lip gloss applicator. Oh, the tip of it is felty. It's like felt. Not expecting that at all. Ooh, it feels really nice on the lips. This feels really nice on the lips. Wow. It's not sticky at all. Mm, it kind of has like a fruity taste to it. This is really nice. It just gave me this really light, slight wash of color. Feels hydrating. Wow, I'm wondering how the longevity of this is. I will go ahead and pop it up here on the screen. See how long this lasts. I'm actually drinking my Clean Simple Eats protein water, so we'll see how long this lasts. But first impression, it's good. So here is the final look using the new LA Colors Made For You collection. I'm impressed with this. Typically there's products I really don't like that I try from Dollar Tree and I honestly liked every single one of these things. So let's quickly recap everything. I'll give you my first impression. First let's talk about the cream bronzer and the cream blush. These performed a lot better than I expected. Lots of color payoff. They look beautiful on the skin. Even after I set my face with powder, sprayed my face with setting spray, you can still see these. I didn't add any powder products. These are really, really nice. They're very pigmented. Definitely a win. And then this little eyeshadow palette is probably the best palette I've tried from Dollar Tree ever. It is very pigmented. The mattes blended out beautifully. They're opaque. They're wearing really well on the eyes. And I was quite impressed with these shimmers, especially this lighter shimmer. It's so beautiful that you, I even used it as my inner corner highlight. These are really nice. I'm impressed. I really think LA Colors has stepped up their quality with the little made for you collection. There were several palettes. I have a TikTok on this entire collection. So come on over, follow me on TikTok. You can see all the different eyeshadow palette options. But again, Again, I have the Cherry Tart, which is the more warm tone neutral, and I love this. Extremely impressed with the liner. Really like this liner. You know the LA Colors Eye Marker is my holy grail. I rave up and down about that. I would say this is equally as good. So if you like an applicator that's a little more stiff, then you'll love this one. If you want more of a traditional felt tip applicator, I would get the eye marker, but they're both really good. I like this even more than I thought that I would. I'm excited to try out the Lemoncello liner. I already know I enjoy the formula of these, but this is such a fun color for summer. And then last but not least, my lippy. Wow, wow, wow. I'm impressed with this. I'm going to go pick up some more. I love the color of this. It feels so good on the lips. I just finished my protein water, just did my hair, got dressed, and it's still there. And it feels so good, like butter. Literally like butter. Definitely grab these, grab them all. This is a huge win for a Dollar Tree makeup tutorial. I really like my look. I think it looks really, really nice. You would never know that I have Dollar Tree makeup on my face. I'm impressed. And that is a true test to how good the Made For You collection is. So again, if I can find these online somewhere, I will link them for you. Let me know what your thought is on my completed look. And of course, come follow me on TikTok if you want to see lots of Dollar Tree content. I do a lot of tutorials, kind of fun transition videos over there. So my TikTok is linked in the description box, along with my favorite beauty subscriptions, all of the other makeup that I'm wearing today, if you want to shop my completed look. And again, come follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.